Writing Formulae of Polyatomic Ions by kscience.com A polyatomic ion is a covalently bonded group of atoms which have an overall charge of positive or negative. Polyatomic ions which you need to know include a hydroxide ion which has the chemical formula OH-, a carbonate ion which has the chemical formula CO3-, a nitrate ion which has the chemical formula NO3-, a sulfate ion which has the chemical formula SO4-, a sulfite ion which has the chemical formula SO3-, and an ammonium ion which has the chemical formula NH4+. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Let's now figure out what is the chemical formula of sodium hydroxide. Sodium is in group 1, so it always forms Na plus ions. And we already know a hydroxide ion is always OH minus. So when we write these ions out, Na plus and OH minus, we can see their charges cancel each other out. 1 plus and 1 minus equals 0. So the chemical formula of sodium hydroxide is NaOH. In this next example, what is the chemical formula of magnesium hydroxide? We know magnesium is in group 2, so it always forms Mg2 plus ions. And we already know a hydroxide ion is OH minus. So when we write out the ions Mg2 plus and OH minus, we can see the magnesium ion has a charge of 2 plus, and the hydroxide ion has a charge of 1 minus. 2 plus and 1 minus overall still has a charge of 1 plus. Therefore, two hydroxide ions are needed so that a charge of 2 minus from the two hydroxide ions can cancel out the charge of 2 plus from the magnesium ion. So overall, magnesium hydroxide now has a charge of 0. When writing out the chemical formula, we do not do it as MgOH2. This is wrong, as this is suggesting there is one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. The correct way to write the formula is MgOH in brackets and then a small 2 on the outside of the brackets. This tells us there are two hydroxide ions. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video now to figure out what is the chemical formula of magnesium carbonate. The ions have been written out for you. Pause the video to check your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. We're now going to figure out what is the chemical formula of lithium carbonate. When we know lithium is in group 1, so it always has a charge of Li+. Plus and carbonate is always CO3 2 minus. So when we write out each ion, Li plus and CO3 2 minus, we can see 1 plus and 2 minus overall has a charge of 1 minus. Therefore, two lithium ions are needed, as two lithium ions have a charge of 2 plus. So 2 plus and 2 minus now has an overall charge of 0. So we write the chemical formula as Li2CO3. Pause the video now to figure out what is the chemical formula of calcium nitrate. When we know calcium is in group 2, so it always has a charge of 2 plus, and nitrate ions always have the formula NO3 minus. Pause the video to check your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Pause the video to figure out what is the chemical formula. The answers will follow. 
pause the video to check your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Pause the video to figure out what is the chemical formula of ammonium nitrate and ammonium sulfate. The answers will follow. Pause the video to check your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.